Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I am coming at you with another paid request. Um, once again from Zach D Productions, who wanted me to do a album review. So I haven't done one of these in a good while. And he wanted me to take a look at the Dream Theater album. Should have left my phone open, my bad. Uh, Images and Words, which is from 1992, um, the year that I was born. And I believe it is their second album, if I'm not mistaken. Their second or their third album. It is their second album. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um... But I actually really liked it. I am not uh, well versed in Dream Theater. The only thing that I really know about the band is Mike Portnoy plays drums and John Bertucci plays guitar. That's about it. <laughs> um, but I do know that they are a, a you know progressive metal band, and I've heard <clears throat> excuse me, I've heard some of the other songs that they have played, and I liked. Uh, that which was from their latest album that came out in 2021 but uh, I did hear this album which again is one of their earliest albums because it it's their second album and I really enjoyed it from start to finish I don't think there was a bad song on the album and I definitely want to pick this up you know to uh, get it in my music collection and I of course also want to check out more of Dream Theater so yeah this was this was cool to finally uh get to hear some more of their music but before we jump into this uh, as always <clears throat> if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request such as this uh, you may do so down below in the description box there is a link to my paypal account no amount is too big no amount is too small just use your head um, it does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series, cartoon, comic book, video game, music like this. Um, random thoughts, rants, streams, commentaries, and anything in between. That's what the paid request is set up for. So again, if any of you are interested, go ahead, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. For those of you that have sent them in before, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel and you want to see me try some different things. It does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos, so it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel. I keep making them. At the end of the day, everybody goes home happy, just like they used to say at Blockbuster. So, thank you. But Dream Theater. Now, of course... Being as much as a as a music buff that I am, I do know who Dream Theater is. I just never got into their music until more recently. Um, again, the only thing that I really know about them is John Pertucci plays guitar. Amazing guitar player. Uh, he's done a lot of things outside of Dream Theater as well. Same with Mike Portnoy. Mike Portnoy also right now plays in the Winery Dogs, which is a super group with... Mike Portnoy on drums, Billy Sheehan uh, from David Lee Roth's band back in the day, uh, Mr. Big on bass, and uh, Richie Kotzen, who played with Poison for a little while and has done a lot of stuff on his own on guitar. Um, and of course, Mike Portnoy is also involved in, in other a lot of other music projects as well. And they are, uh, especially currently, they are among the best in the business. Uh, John Pertucci is an amazing guitar player. Mike Portnoy is an amazing drummer. So, um, you know, I, of course I know who they are and I know who the band is. It's just I didn't really get into their music until more recently. I know Eddie Trunk uh, always has Mike Portnoy on and they're always talking and, and interviewing and stuff, which is awesome. So, and I know that he plays on. Uh, Eddie Trunk does his daily show on XM, which is more of a, a talk, you know, rock talk show. And then on Mondays, he'll do the uh, the second show on Hair Nation, where he plays music. And then he still does his weekly radio show, uh, where he plays, you know, Dream Theater from time to time. So I've heard uh, 
some Dream Theater stuff on his various shows and stuff, and I did like what I have heard so far, and I really liked this album. Um, again, this is their second album. It was the first album they had with a different singer because I believe the first album had someone else excuse me, on vocals. So they got somebody else for this one. Um, but I like prog. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of bands like Pink Floyd and Rush. Uh, there is a huge, heavy Rush influence on this album. You can hear it through the entirety of the album. There is no doubt about that, uh, in my opinion. You know, it, it there definitely uh, is a lot of uh, Rush-like sounds in this album which i really enjoyed and um you know of course i'm a big fan of metal as well and they kind of brought it together with this and you know for for a while there actually i will say for a while uh i was listening to nothing but progressive metal um i don't know it was like in the in the mid 2000s there was like this resurgence in progressive metal i mean not that it you know, completely went away or anything like that, but for a little bit, there was a resurgence because, especially when YouTube blew up in the mid-2000s, I, I used to watch so many uh, progressive metal guitar videos and people doing covers of stuff, and then, you know, Dragon Force was popular for about two seconds, so, you know, there was that. So, yeah, there was a while when... I would listen to nothing but progressive metal, and for whatever reason, I at that time I never got heavy into Dream Theater. But you know, as the old saying goes, everything works out the way that it needs to. So now, I guess that I'm older, I can appreciate it more. Uh, so maybe now is the time to kind of dive headfirst into Dream Theater. Um, but like I said, from from start to finish. This album was great. Um, I know that this is, I believe this is Dream Theater's highest selling album. Uh, it's their most commercially successful. The first song on the album, which is called Pull Me Under, was their biggest hit, I believe. And I also believe that it was featured in one of the Guitar Hero games as well. So that, you know, obviously introduced a entire generation to the band you know from there which is really cool and again when i was a when i was a teenager the guitar hero stuff was really popular and then it just completely dropped off the map um which was interesting because i think rock band kind of came in and it's like oh well they have drums and everything else now guitar hero is not cool anymore and then rock band kind of just jumped off the cliff you know to nowhere maybe i'll do a video about that you know one day but um yeah, that was their biggest hit from what I was reading. And, I mean, when you listen to the song, you could tell why. And a lot of the songs on here are pushing, you know, over five minutes, getting into that eight, nine, ten minute territory. And I'm okay with that. You know, obviously, that also uh, comes from Rush because Rush had a lot of songs that really pushed the boundaries of how many songs you could get on the side of the record without going to two and three records. So that's another really cool thing, you know, that I like about this band. Obviously, in the 90s, CDs had taken over, so, you know, it wasn't really about, you know, how how much can we get on a slab of wax, but, you know, we all know how that goes. But the rest of the album is great. Like I said, all of the, all the songs from start to finish are good. One of the songs, I think it's the second song, I think it's another day. Let me see if I can. Uh, no, I mean not, not that I can't do it. It's just I want to do it quickly because I don't like uh, sitting here on the excuse me on the phone trying to do a video for you guys. But yeah, another day has a, a saxophone part in it, which I really liked. I thought that was really cool how they threw that into the mix as well so you got all this drums and guitars and keyboards and then you throw in a saxophone i i, I really like that i thought that was cool um this is on vinyl this did get a vinyl release back in the day i don't know what the uh what the prices look like because of course vinyl 
went through the freaking roof uh, the past couple of years. But there is a couple represses out there. And they're expensive as well because I was looking, you know, they did some different colors and configurations and stuff. And I was like, oh, well, that's cool. But I looked at it and it's even the represses are expensive. So I guess they didn't uh, press them in a lot of numbers or it's just, again, vinyl is, is really expensive now. Because it's cool again, guys, because everybody wants it. Um, but I really enjoyed, again, this album from start to finish. I like the vocalist. I like the singer on it. I don't know how many albums he did with Dream Theater, but what I did here, I did like vocally, of course. Uh, in instrumentally, you have two of the best ever, in my opinion, doing the doing the uh, heavy work, so there's that. You know, again, they threw some, some saxophone in there, which was cool, and yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of progressive rock or metal, this is kind of the merging of that. So you will definitely like this, and I can I cannot recommend this band enough because again, you have two of the all-time greats doing their thing, and I definitely want to check out more of their work, and I recommend that all you check it out as well. So yeah, this was cool. It's always fun to to talk about music in long form. I know that most people kind of tune out pun intended on those videos i had to burp excuse me there hold on there it is i don't want to burp in front of you guys faces another one no but um yeah so again it's always fun to talk about music whether it's on a stream or in a long form video like this so there we go but anyway um i hope that you guys enjoyed uh, my review of again I should have left it open I apologize uh, Dream Theater's Images and Words great album from start to finish cannot recommend it enough uh, go check it out wherever you get your music uh, preferably physically but that's just how I roll and I'm sure we'll have more music uh, reviews and such in the future but anyway as always thank you guys for watching once again take care and we'll talk to you guys later see you